Hello everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Blood and Sand. So, when we last left off, nothing major happened. Nah. At all. It's very close session. Nothing. Went to the spa. Nothing oh. vitally important. So, to begin, they fought the remainders of the Talon Guild, a group of individuals loyal to one Alexandra's Crumblebottom, who were some attempting to either delay or dispose of the party to allow Crumblebottom to finish his intended ritual. The party fought them and their Baylor, or not the Baylor, they summoned a Garistro. Garistro. There was a Baylor somewhere else in the field. Um, they fought the Garistro, killed it remarkably quickly. We, and We have a grunt. Yeah. I have a Cristo. We have a grunt. Uh, from there, they managed to find the private quarters pr previous of Ratak, a once corrupted silver dragon that had since been purified and now lending her services back to the side of good. As these heroes prepared a large consecration spell, to block out a great deal of the magic that would have been affecting um, the demons and essentially creating a massive zone of defense as they were within the city of Distu, fighting to try and prevent it from being turned into a literal gateway to the hells that could never be sealed, as well as the revivification of at least one fallen god. Creating this consecration, the allied forces all amassed about them. And in this time, their silver and gold um, prodigy, Aeon Sul, an ally, had slain the corrupted demonic dragon of the enemy forces. <clears throat> While the party prepared this ritual and took a short rest, the shortest of rests. It was then that it was reported Crumble Bottom had made his way beneath the arena of the city. This arena had served as a massive ritual site, a massive sacrificial altar of blood and sand, which was fueling the resurrection of the devils and the demons' greatest fallen gods, more or less, where halted as the party flew atop the back of this dragon, and the dragon helped clear their way until they made their way into the pit you see now in this map where they found Alexandra's crumble bottom under the long standing guise of a hapless mayor turned criminal mastermind turned demonic bargainer it appeared that the soul of the dead god Tyrontium god of slavery and one of the prime devils saw this as a failure and was preparing to leave however as it intended to do so Colonel Bottom held it and demanded it aid him this time to tear this portal apart the barrier of which you can see on the right side of the map barrier to the other side is still there supported by the chains that you can see strapped to this angel as the angel has three of these destroyed, the barrier was weakened, but it was still there, holding against the flood as a magical dam. The party began engaging with Crumble Bottom whilst their dragon companion disposed of any alternative forces that were trying to get involved. After a long battle and Crumble Bottom shattering three chains by the time the party finally stopped him the killing blow was landed by Delmara at this time Delmara stabbed him through the arm stabbed him through the chest and stood over the body of her longtime abuser and manipulator in Crumble Bottom and then an unlikely thing occurred. 
almost phasing through the wall as if it were air for them, with the sound of plopping hooves matching against just air. A simple small carriage with a a sole rider atop the back. This was an elderly gentleman, the avatar of the god of death, whom had been watching over this battle, ensuring that anything that fell was gone, and nothing would change that. If it fell on the material plane in this city, that was its fate. As it was for Alexandrus, who soul rose up from the body, physically manifested for all to see. A single silver thread tied to his finger into the cart. He began to claw and fight and bite and beg any who was about him for aid as he was dragged into the cart and the cart's door slammed shut. Carriage store slammed shut. Some people made small mannerly requests of death, questions, but they simply nodded, returned back to their carriage and their horse floated back up and was gone. At this point, this is where you all find yourselves. The soulless, lifeless body of Alexandros lies at your feet. A single chain dangles high pinned to the wall. The other end embedded into the torso of the planetar angel who stands in a focused state, their wings entirely stripped of feathers, like skeletal wings almost. But the barrier is held. Dawnbringers, what do you do? Well, shit. Oh. You're right. <laughs> yeah, my camera on our fuck. Um. I think I'm probably just stood there in shock. Like, breathing heavily, the adrenaline's pumping, just sort of like. <sighs> I want to loot. I'm gonna unfurl the, uh. Um. Oh, yeah. Flying cup. Yeah, I was gonna go over, ask. Uh, if I can borrow the carpet. And start getting a a head start on mending all these freaking chains. I will help you with that. Okay. You'll have to mend individual pieces of the chain together. But with the hammer and your Cleric of the Forge skills, it'll take you... To fix one will probably take three hours. As you are trying to work with adamantite. Buckley stayed a... here for the rest of time. Oh boy. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five chains. Take about three hours. You'd be doing it for a full day. But the barrier is holding for now. Oh no, this last chain is really loose! No, show, for the love of God. Uh, has the planet- I'll, I'll do half planetar, now, half later. Has the planetar <laughs> itself, like, changed in any way over the course of the fight? Over the course of the fight, no. Um, they've stood with their eyes closed, somewhat floating just slightly above the ground, with this warm, glowing energy that's just been radiating off of them, like... The only real equivalent I have is if there was a floodlight beneath them that just shines upwards. And does kind of cast like almost a dark silhouette over their face from beneath up, but they're focused in this moment in what they're doing, and they don't seem to be responding. But yeah, I I, I feel like I would basically do half now, so like maybe take like six hours to do two of them, okay, and then after that that, go have a rest. I would leave three for the next day, which would take you another nine hours then. Yeah. Okay. 
between that and with the aid of a dragon assisting you and the flying carpet. Have you got your blacksmithing tools there? Oh, obviously. <laughs> when would he ever be without his blacksmithing tools? <laughs> roll uh, one. Roll uh, one. Now, uh, Does he I'm get advantage with all the help he's getting? I will say he gets advantage. Roll two ones. Roll two. I have a proficiency of ten into this. We want him to succeed this. Oh my god, he. Oh my god. Wow, you you rolled an eight. (laughs) Fuck. Yeah. Like I said, I have ten. Still got a fucking eighteen out of it. It takes you a little bit longer because originally Buckley, it looks like it is just adamantite. But as you lift it and you examine it, it's incredibly light. But there is elements of adamantite in it. And the more you examine it, there's another metal mixed with the adamantite, which is unique. It's different. Um, Some form of alloy. But the other metal, you actually don't know. You've never encountered it. I'm gonna stop patching ass up. <laughs> Wait. What? Why? Oh. Oh, yeah, roll 20, um. Last week, like, reset everybody's hit die for some reason. Yeah, I can see that. Uh... Yeah, ev- everybody, everybody, make sure you change on your character sheet for some reason. It reset it. Oh, my hit die is. Did it The raven steps a little bit closer towards you, Damara, walking around. I think I will be. Eventually. I don't know what to do now. I I yell out. I yell out. My daughter isn't okay. She's fed fucking tastic. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> Why are you still over there? Come over here. She's helping him with the chains, I think. Fixing shit! Eloquent as ever. Talking's weird! (laughs) Yeah, this is what happens with somebody who has had to hold it all back. God damn, Sandy, how many dice are you fucking using? It's like like that that guy in fucking Monty (laughs) Python where he's like, Oh, bugger shit, fuck, I haven't spoken in over 20 years! Fucking fuck! Basic. But, uh, yeah. If you don't know what you can do, then live. <sighs> Weirdly enough, I don't think I've got a lot of practice at doing that. Ah, you're still young. No, she isn't! It's relative! Nah! I mean, I'm the oldest person in the room, so... I, again, it's relative. I'm going to go back up and see if anyone requires assistance. She kind of glances down at the body and goes... And this? You watch as... The raven kneels down, and like any good thief, begins picking through Crumblebottom's pockets. Dibs! <laughs> Fuck! He reaches over the neck, and uh, 
he hands over because you well he did say dibs uh nasdo take a platinum gold alloy necklace Ooh. Uh, okay fancy worth 20,000 gold pieces fucking hell <laughs> You could build a castle with that much money. Or a boat. Or a really big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get myself a very big fucking boat. <laughs> it's it's literally just going to be... It, you know, I was going to say, his, his, it's literally going to be just a house... A giant-ass houseboat. No, this is the start of Nosdo's fleet. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna Nosdo's be, it's walking gonna boat. Like, Commodore It's going to be like one of those Nosdo. giant um, Chinese boathouse things. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> No, no, Nazo. It's gonna be pure like Studio Ghibli. Instead of Howl's Moving Castle, is Nazo's walking ship. How much did you say it was? Twenty thousand gold pieces worth. Just gotta find the right person to fucking sell it to. Yeah. I mean, if you go to the guild, they'll probably go. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> no. You shout, and Aeon Soul is right next to you. Hi. <laughs> Stell, how's it feel? Them. Weird. Poke it. Might feel better. No. No, I'm good. <laughs> I, I just fly it. by poke it with a stick. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've never actually said this before, and now I feel like it needs to be said. You're all so weird! And? I... I... Oh, yeah! And... I'm glad you're my friends. Aww. <laughs> Don't make me blush. Take a lot. Rummaging through, he finds... a small bag full of... these kind of... bizarre stones that are almost see-through. But they have a, in the center of them, they have a purple, like, core. Like, if you can just picture, like, a perfect diamond, like, shape, you know, the kind of, like, point to point kind of diamond uh -huh. kind of shape, with just in its center point, it's just a single black, like, nugget almost. Those look ominous. There is 20. And. As you guys are discussing, he, the raven, reaches down and takes a ring off of Carmel Bottom's finger. And you can see that uh, the raven actually has the exact same ring on his finger. We're pocketing it. There's a questioning look on Dell's face, but she doesn't say anything. You were a good boy. Sam, you were such a shit man. Ow. <laughs> Nothing left to do but cremate him. He just looks over towards the lava. I was gonna say. Can I eat him? No, stay, you can have this honor. I don't wanna touch <gasps> it. I don't wanna touch it. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna do a hammer throw with the body. See if I can sit it in the lava. Provided everything of value has been taken. <laughs> yeah. The happy. raven just looked him over. Everything that it's good is good. Uh, he also has a bag that has 500 platinum pieces in it. Dope. In all the lava with the fat and everything bastard. else had been fucking robbed. And now it's already distributed amongst the party. Make an athletic check, Nazda, to see how well you. Dump this bastard. Da, 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 don't fail me, dice. Hey. It's a it's hundred gold for one platinum, right? Yes. Uh, no, it's no, ten. ten. It's ten. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Okay, ten, so that's ten, fine. Ten. That's cool. Ten, ten. 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 Ten, ten
And now so you have that moment of, oh, I'm going to fuck this, just toss this guy. And you try to, like, you, you start beginning to do it, but then you realize, oh, Jesus, he's heavier than I thought he was. He looks fat, but he's actually a lot denser than he looks, like, as a body. And it takes, this like, guy's one, thick. two. As you shout that aloud, launch him up. You don't get him in the in the pool, but what you do happens is he cracks against the ground first, just like smacks against it up, smacks again before Oops. into the pool. <laughs> oh <laughs> dear! You give him essentially the most inglorious slide down of his body. Oh, it appears just, I have missed. Just yeah, he. I'm just picturing, picturing like his ghost, like invisible that we can't see on the ethereal plane. Just like, oh come on! <laughs> what you a shame! Remember that, you remember that episode of The Simpsons where Homer tries to go over the canyon? <laughs> oh dear! Uh, I figured it was just like, just like s something hitting a window and just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. And we gained level so... 15 after the encounter, correct? Yes, but the effects will right. occur when you let when yeah. you next. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's, that's not a problem. Way. I'm making sure that I didn't just do the whole last fight without my 18 critical. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, think, yeah. I think we already we all already rolled our HP if I recall, but technically that's yes. not in effect yeah. yet. Yeah, no, don't don't, don't worry about it. We're good. Yeah. Uh, the body falls in, and last thing is just the hand. Just last thing is just like the fingers falling in, and the remains of Alexandrus are destroyed. Oh, good. It didn't make a, a thumbs up. Like <laughs> no, no it's just like this falling. Don't be a dick, Billy. <laughs> Sorry, Wilbert. That's an obscure uh, reference. It is. Yeah. <laughs> but a good one. Raven... I'd, like to, I'd like to see any bastard come back from that. Uh, you see the raven is just like looking over these gems as you guys are talking. There's something different I'm... about them, isn't there? Aeon, I think we're going to require your assistance later. There's 20 lost souls trapped in here that need to be carefully guided home. Bleh. What the fuck? Smash it, right? I don't think it's no. that simple. It is that simple, but the problem with it is that if you do just smash it, it's not restful. Uh, well. It's the difference of waking someone up by gently touching their shoulder and splashing a bunch of ice on their face. Now, and if they're intoxicated... To, when it comes to innocent souls, Gabriel. The gentler, the better. It's not my problem to do with them at will. I still have so many questions. Why does he have these? Who were they? How does this they happen? They were most likely people who have over the years made a bad deal with the terrible man. So kind of like you. Thank you. That's You're been welcome. that's been iterated enough, I think. Hey, get rid of it now. It's fine. Be bygones, be bygones. You know. That's the hope. At least I didn't get to whatever that stage is. <laughs> Marble. Uh... Well. I'm going to go back. Raven just begins walking past you all. Thank you. Bye! Break a leg! I'm sure I'll see you all. If I did, it would just reattach very nicely. No, that, so it's the saying. Oh, never mind. I'm aware it's a saying. We'll talk later. 
I'm sure. Oh, you have not seen the last of me. Well, you might have, but I've definitely not seen the last of you. And he bows and just like almost as a flip upwards as his form turns into like that shadowy um, floating etherealness. Like not ethereal, but more like, incompo- like non-constituted, just shadow, wispy clouds kind of thing. Yeah, wispy kind of almost like between a liquid and a, and a gas almost like form. <laughs> and straight up. Oh, edgy. Maybe I can learn to do that at some point. His name's Probably. the Raven, Stanji. Of course he's edgy. <laughs> so, I'm sweating like a bastard. Who fancies a nail? After... I was looking during the slate, I don't really feel like staying here for six hours. Again, you guys go on without me. I will have to stay here for a while. <laughs> well, after, go to... After Are everything we, we back home? After everything we've been through, I don't feel like we should split up now. <sighs> um, does we anyone pro- have any... I imagine... I imagine he's gonna tell everyone we're okay, but until then, everybody on the surface doesn't know what's happened. But I suppose if we wait in a, a long enough, backup will... come. But, um, Hansel does speak up. Well, it was Alice's old motto that you don't split the party, wasn't it? And who split the party? Ironic. Let's blame his god. A lot of people do. Sure. It's not their fault. Isn't it? Not always. They're the ones created us, supposedly. They're the ones to blame. Yeah, I used to have a similar mentality. Gods didn't really do anything for me all these years. Don't think they should. Don't really want them to. Maybe that's why then. What I do want is my mobile feet that I forgot to take last level. (laughs) (laughs) He's still got little legs. Fuck you, I got 35 movement now. The god of death has done all right, but and more importantly, the god of love. <laughs> oh yes, Shimmer, fucking lad, get in there. You don't know what he's cooking. You don't I'd know how he's cooking. I join him anyway. Might be himself. By, it, by the looks of that, he he starts cooking himself. It's just Monster Hunter, <laughs> you know, he reaches into his pocket and somehow pulls out an entire steak on a stick. <laughs> yeah, with do, a spit do, roast. Do, 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 just pull do, out a Rathalus do, tail. Do, do, do. So tasty! Handler, get the fuck out of my game. I will kill you. <laughs> you ready, partner? I miss other Rathalus. I will say, now that I've finished the, the campaign, yeah, I actually do like her. Anyway. You finished the campaign? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. We'll say yeah. that the three hours for at least one of them elapse, and it's up, it's stable, it's secure, and you now know that you'd probably be able to do a lot quicker and better tomorrow. And God, if that first hit dice roll wasn't something. <laughs> and you finally roll the max. Yeah, for healing. Uh, hang on. Keep going. Ain't got time to rest. Must fix. This is where we play the game of how many hit dice do I need to roll because I am hurt. As you guys are resting and the three hours pass, you just begin hearing from the top of like that staircase you were walking down. Just sound of wood. Tapping against stone. And after 10, 15 minutes, a very familiar face appears at the entranceway to the steps. Galgarant. Oh shit. Who had been sworn to not get involved with the city during the battle. Battle is over. 
took me eight dice to heal. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it took... Yeah, it took him 14, yeah. Big oof. The elderly form over the expanse looks about, looks up at the work that Buckley's already looks about all of you. Looks towards his son. I would be lying if I said I wasn't impressed. Never change the character, Gatebreaker. I need some ale. He's watching, he just steps forward. Holding that large, like, um, earthen styled staff that has the crystal in the top of it. One again. And again. Mine. Over the uh, form of the planetar in the place and the barrier behind him. And. You're noticing something about him that, even in his human form, can't really be deterred. He looks like he's, since you last spoke with him not even a fortnight ago, he looks like he's aged, even in his human guise. Long ago. I saw a group of refugees step into my city requesting amnesty from a war they had no control over, that they were powerless to stop. I saw a thief who never stole, a hunter who never shut up, and a dwarf who liked both. And I, for some reason, welcomed them in. Welcomed their people in. And now you, along with new friends that you've met along the way, have become more. More than I think even I could have anticipated. Since my ordered state by Bahamut. And he looks towards Ansel as he says it. I have had time of contemplation. I went to the summit myself. I played the child's games and I waited at the door. Just in case. And my father stepped forward. And I was granted a small vision. One that is as inevitable for me as it is for any of you. All things end. It is not that they end which is, should, which is to be mourned. It is how they are remembered which should be enjoyed. And my life is not a perfect one. My time was not a kind one. But I have allowed embitterment, jealousy, and outright refusal to believe in the capability of mortals to change my perspective, to cloud my judgment where it had no right to do. It is time for the old 
to fall away. Not to rule or to strangle some position of power. To instead guide the next generation. And I think I have a decent, if not true prodigy of a replacement. And he just bows towards his son. I have allowed a fear of death to conquer me. And I am tired of allowing that to conquer me. I do not deserve it. But I look amongst you, mortals, simultaneously the most bizarre, stubborn, and imaginative creatures, but also the most inspiring. I would hope you all might grant me some small forgiveness for my actions. Dude, Tire, you're all right. I think after everything I've done, if I can be forgiven, you can. You didn't do shit. Mm. Not to me. <laughs> you did what you had to to survive. Well, there you go. That's what you were doing. I had choices. I always had a choice. I was just refusing counsel. I refuse to allow myself to see that things could be saved. I could say you're preaching to the choir. He watches, he looks about the chamber. I have not worked earth or stone, metal, ore or ingot quite some time. But Master Calabra, if you would indulge me and allow an old man to offer his services in the reforging of these chains. Cleric! <laughs> Are you Hurry up! I mean, he did threaten to kill me at one point, but... I mean, he did think you'd killed his wife. <laughs> so... He didn't it, know what the fuck was, was going on. It was a justified reaction, let's be honest. Fine, yes. I could use the help. You know, actually just taps his staff once, twice, three times and the chains begin floating in several portions upward and the links just float in that space before from the ceilings and from like the small cracks where the hooks used to be you just see a little bit of lava pour out it falls down the chains as it goes and where the links were once broken they are mended over, like washing over it, men mends it in itself, until it falls down to the ground close to where the planetar is. Once, twice, three times, four times, as you finish your piece. Also, I'll just stay out of character. If he killed me, it would have been really a waste of those fucking resurrections he did on me. <laughs> He is I mean... aware. He's aware. <laughs> I can't kill this man, I've put investment into this. <laughs> Those gems were fucking expensive. Exactly. You can't kill me, you need me. 
You made me. <laughs> he literally did remake you when you got chopped up about four times. Yeah. <laughs> One of your finest moments. <laughs> what happened when I was away? Jesus. <laughs> People we'll fucking dying left, right, and center. We'll tell oh, no. you another time. With those times, you were here for those. I'm pretty sure no. you were. Yeah. I was no. not here when no. you got chopped at bits. That that was the Baylor, or whatever, in in Dust uh, Dusthaven. He wasn't there for that. I don't oh, think. was he not there? When I was when I was when I was around, not a single person died except me. Well, no, I didn't really die. I just got down. No, he wasn't there. You got down, and that was the first session. Oh, okay, I was okay, close okay. to dying, but I never, no one no, ever died. Because fine. level one is shit. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. I thought he was there for this too. Nope. Or one of them, at least. Oh. Anyway. He looks about to all of you. And between the platform you're on and the platform by the entrance. Just watch him raise a hand, and from beneath the magma, just earth moves and rises. And a small, oh. although very hot, platform between the two emerges. So, I'll just say for now. There's a box somewhere about here for you to go through. I leave it red because... <laughs> It is hot. Hot, 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 Mm. Well, <sighs> you guys are all about yourselves. The last chains are easy enough to do, they are fixed. And once the last chain has hooked into place, you can just see that that massive wave of a barrier just again it merges out entirely encompassing. Yeah, now stay there, you. What is it? Um, interdimensional shift. I stay there, weak person. Why is it trapped? Are you bad? No, bad. it's 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 like a seal. It's keeping it safe. Yes, the human is too safe. Is Salah I mean, Hi, forget break. They were the last child of Levena. I don't know who that is, but I'm sure they're lovely people. Uh, Levena? The goddess of love. Yeah, the goddess of love who was dead and got brought back to life by the power of our love. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> See? Told you, they're great. I wish we could do something for them. Make love? Uh... No, thank you. No, no, not you! Keep cooking! Maybe in that new town my father's gonna build. Um... I don't make love, always... I could build a temple to her. The promise was always that they gave their wings and the barrier would hold. You just watch as he looks up to the angel for an extended period of time. Well, I'll come down for all the magic carpet back up and hand it back to Grunt. Well, that's all done and everything. Just easy old friend. And Galgoron turns and begins to leave 
the chamber. Bye. Is that See you all? tomorrow. Is that all for now, Buckley? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's everything prepared. Guess we can go back to the surface now. You watch as he um stops and Galgron turns back around. The Tower of Duskhaven now belongs to you, Aonsor. You may do with it as you wish. I have handled the matters in its lower depths and it should be safe once more for people to use. It stood too long as a symbol of oppression rather than leadership. But now that you've said that Levana has returned, my heart makes a lot more sense. You should go speak to her. If she will allow me. If she will allow me. So you watch the old, tired form step up the steps. Do you all follow? Yeah. Yeah. You all make your way quiet for the most part, as you do, up to the very top of Distoon, into its large arena, and you begin hearing the sounds of people, multiple people. Some are laughing, some are cheering. As you come up and you look over the side of the now ruined arena, you see drow and humans. You see goblinoids and more monstrous races, dwarves and elves, all amongst one another, all speaking, all talking, conveying, a sight that not even a decade ago would have been an impossibility. You see the matron conversing with Guan Chi. You see Merok and Scylla talking together. But all stop when you step out. And they all look towards you, one and all. And they all begin cheering with Guan Chi's voice being the first heard. Hail to the Dawnbringer. And all at once, hail, hail. As you hear it out, shouted by dozens upon dozens of voices. I still fucking hate that. You say this to your party members and amongst them, but the amount of people is probably too loud for anyone else to have heard. There are worse names to have. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Del. Yeah? Are we still on that tavern? You mean the guild hall? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I remember, I haven't been there for a while. Yeah. It's a bit run down, but... We uh, it, haven't it, used it better. for a while. If you, uh... Recall part of it got uh, demolished. You it didn't hasn't been fully repaired. It's been yeah, it's not now. fully repaired, but or oh yeah, it has been. Yeah, it's been repaired now. I forgot. Yeah, I did spend some time doing that. <laughs> but yeah, a while back since I've been in dust. We could go back. Could run it the way maybe the way you wanted to. As you guys are talking amongst yourselves. Marok steps up towards you all. Tell everyone there's something I need you to see. And he turns and begins walking and you follow. And I was having such a nice day. 
Were you? No. But it oh. was just a figure of speech. I was gonna say, what the fuck? We just almost died! You turn a corner. And you see... What was once a streetway. With maybe somewhere between 40 to 50, maybe 60 bodies of demons and devils piled, piled high. And at the top of the pile, Del, you can see this in Buckley with your perception, you see it. A very familiar bow. Dipsh. Someone had fun. Apparently so. I take a step forward and I walk up. Every demon you step past or on has an arrow in the heart of the bird. I bet he kept count. It's probably marked on the bow. I keep going until I reach the bow. The bow is by itself there. <laughs> Never understand him. I sort of lightly run my hand over the side of it before I eventually grasp it. And you Careful hear the in voice my brain! Of Del Deer. <laughs> Who's that? It's me. You know me. Delmara. I did not think I would hear of you again. Neither did I. You want to know what happened? I do, but maybe now is not the place. I will tell you, though. Go on, then. Now she... You go look at Nas and go, and that, Now she's just over there fucking talking to herself. But... I don't know, she like demon bodies. You can just see from the ground and around you, just like from the bow itself on the cracks, you just see these small like golden tendrils just spread out from it and I go down and one touches onto each one of your party's shoulders and you all hear the voice of Delir. Me. <laughs> we crossed the plains fighting monsters beings that were so primordial and old they could have been considered part of the plains themselves there were many cults that sought these individuals and creatures to turn them or corrupt them and set them loose upon the material plane. We slaughtered or driv out all the cults we could find and killed every one that we could find. We felt Corellan's presence ring out in the darkness and call us to a portal. He said there was a new hunting ground that needed us. And we landed within the heart of the city. He could smell the blood in the air, hear the dirge of war as it rang out. We knew we didn't have much time, and so we rushed to do what we could. We launched arrow after arrow until a mound of the dead piled about us only for him to ascend its summit and continue to serve justice after justice upon every evil until another portal tore itself open and before us many a foe flooded out demons of incomprehensible size or power but his arrows took them all until one larger being, a beast with the head of a hound and 
a tail like a snake, wielding a terrible axe, knocked us apart. I could still sense him. He stole the axe from the beast and took its head, but so large was it that they fell back through the portal together. Shortly after the portal fell, I could still sense him for a time until the great hunter, Alistair Dartwood, I could sense him no more. I am sorry that I did not go with him, but fate flung us apart. I know not where he is now. Yes, and continues. Can use more than just a bell. Yeah. Sounds like he's got a new axe to play with. That dipshit better come back. He still owes me favour. <laughs> That's up to him. I'll be waiting. I've got a few years. More than him. If you do not mind, would you keep me with you for a time? Only because you asked. Thank you. <sighs> I take it your hunt went well as well? Yes. He knew you could do it. He never doubted you. Hmm. And the bow goes silent. And the tendrils spread away from the party and fall away. Fuck to you in charge of making sure that fucking bell don't fall apart again. That's not really a thing of a mortal like me can determine. Let the human forge cleric of the Dwarven God touch me, please. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Uh, nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a case of. Oh, hey, look! Now we add spikes to it! <laughs> No. No. <laughs> it's a dwarf thing. He'll make me angular. Don't let him. What is this? A whole like building? The... Yes, exactly. Just to make him into a big crossbow. <laughs> no. It's just the bow, but it's attached to an enormous crossbow, like yeah. slapped onto the front. <laughs> yeah, no, it's literally basically like it has all the components you need for the crossbow except for the actual bow and the, air, uh, yeah. the actual string, which is what. Oh, hey, look! There's a bow! I feel like the biggest insult would be like you just cut the string and then attach a hammer to one end of it. That's better. Don't, don't let them touch me, please. <laughs> you need to stop talking now. Bell, come back here! You look weird on top of a pile of bodies. I'm coming. You look good up there. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my natural terrain. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, it is. I come down. Okay. Well, we should all, we should all hope we get to be such great hunters as our glorious leader one. Um, to great hunters, I say smoke pricks. And it's probably close enough. Hand with the other. Bastards extraordinaire. <laughs> Arsehole. As you make your way back around the city, you see Merok has gone and is now talking with both Scylla and the Matron. Oh. All three are discussing. And as you pass them, it seems like they're preparing for some sort of spell they intend to cast. Hobbits are teleport. I really don't feel like walking all that way. What's happening? Now, if you listen in, you hear 
A spell of that power has not been cast in easily 2,000 years. But I believe that with the aid of some of the individuals here who can reach out beyond our reams of power, beyond our limitations as mortals, to spells that we can't even comprehend, then perhaps it could be cast. This is Merok talking to the matron and to Scylla. Scylla chimes in. It's going to need to be a place that is wrought with just raw magic. And somewhere that's going to be either tied to one of us or it'd be tied to Corellan himself solely. Y'all trying to summon a guard? And you guys step in and return. Because <laughs> that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> the matron speaks. We are not trying to summon a god, per se. More, we are attempting to receive permission to remove the racial curse that has lingered upon my kin since the day we first betrayed the other elves in service of law. Oh. Got a question that's, about that. That's pretty big. So, if your curse gets removed, are you not going to be drowned then? I don't know how I, it works. I do not know how it works either. I don't think any of my people do. I don't think anything like that has ever happened, ever. But, it requires magic users of the highest caliber, many of which have to have ties to gods of some sort. I got you. Buckley! <laughs> she looks past Buckley, but does give him a, a note, a no noted nod, but looks past that and past all of you, and you can see, sitting down on two broken steps next to each other, in a very quiet conversation, is Pratak and Galgaron. Oh. Yeah, they'd, they'd probably be the ones to go to I on think, that. I think they definitely would qualify. You know, being that they're <laughs> children of them. Yeah. <laughs> At least they're talking. Yeah. Algorand is in tear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and you guys are watching for a period. You can just see as he begins trying to like almost turn away from her or step away. She extends out and holds his. Scars don't heal, but they do fade. And it seems like these two might just be able to live past their scars. Yo, scars are sexy. If you live with them, they work in favor. Thank God you and I will earshot of both of them, because one is power or kill, the other one is disintegrate. <laughs> Look. I'm just sitting here just going, mm. <laughs> Look, I mean that both as physical and the metaphor, alright? Mmm. Dell immediately top model of all of Dell and I. Nah, no. <laughs> She's doing the summer auditions. No, 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 no. You will die. I think the main reason to not see Dell without any clothes on is because she would fucking radiate the sun off of her. <laughs> Just a neon reflection. Like, ah, my eyes! I would immediately vaporize. <laughs> and you do have that constitution thing now, so. <laughs> yeah, actually. Beach episode! <laughs> Beach episode! You should let them talk for a little bit. <laughs> they have a lot to catch up on. Yeah. Holy. You hear a voice well, from I think you. they all and we all done enough. 
and you have all done far more than any of us could have asked. As you see Guan Chi behind you. None of this would have been possible without any of you. None of it. You were the first ones to allow Merok to speak to me. And through Merok was Aeon Sol. He began to delve matters far more delicately and carefully rather than just slay the evil and call it a day. <laughs> Clearly not talking about me. <laughs> Maybe, maybe to start with. Master Gatebreaker, but... definitely not you. But. And you can also see as he's like walking and stepping, he is wincing as he's walking and he's got his right arm in a sling. Boy got fucked up. Yeah. Whilst I cannot do it today. If you or anyone else have any requests of me, I will do as you would like tomorrow for magics, but I'm afraid I am simultaneously tapped, and also somatic components are difficult with one hand. But well done. He looks towards Galgrond. I'll watch him. If he slips again. If he slips again, you'll have to wait your turn. Oh, I was in queue before you made no mistake. It wasn't referring to me, <laughs> and I glance over at Pratak again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she has first home on there. <laughs> fair. Just quite fair. Well played. Okay, God damn it. Well. Dawnbringers, I know I can only give you humble requests, but might I make a humble request of you? At this point, no. You pick your I'm, moments, I'm, don't you? I'm, I'm tapped out. I'm tapped out for humble. <laughs> Just kidding. What about a second? Go for it. I'm good. What do you need? If it's magic, I hereby go order on. all of you to take a fucking vacation. Done. We'll need it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any of you without dirt, piss, blood, or something else covering you. <laughs> Quiet, cat! Do <laughs> not disturb my conversation! Ow! Excuse me, that was a loud one. <laughs> you just watched as one of the soldiers in the corner is getting their legs relocated and their tabaxi. <laughs> Meanwhile, Grunt seems to be uh, bleeding from the mouth and seems to be with a hand in the mouth quite a bit. Of recently, and then she says, "Wait a minute! I don't think this is my two. <laughs> oh. How many hit points do you on? Nine. Why didn't you hit you hit dice while we were in the fucking downstairs? <laughs> she was trying to put one of her teeth in. It just turns out it wasn't hers. Oh, <laughs> oh teeth work. <laughs> Sometimes when they get knocked out, you just shove them back in. It's fine." <laughs> Any bandages left? Uh, I ain't got any. I'm just asking this in general. <laughs> Are there any bandages left? <laughs> Fine, I'll take a nap. Grant, did you turn around? Whack! Right into the forehead, you get a headbutt. You just and almost fall backwards for the <laughs> first time in your life. As you can just see Nerits there to the other side of you, having just dealt the Not letting you speak, he just grabs you and pulls you in for a hug. No. Now punch him in the kidney. Rest. <laughs> no. <laughs> low blow, low blow. Not in the hug. Not in the hug. <laughs> I take the dodge action in case anybody gets any hugging ideas. <laughs> oh, you're on. <laughs> Second story work. Good luck, Nasto. <laughs> Fall on. I'm going for a hug. No, I, 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 I just uh, bring over, I, I just wave over Dell's like, come on, you can get a few kidney hits. No, I just narrowly avoided breaking my ribs. In fact, I think one of them actually. No, him, not you. I think one of them actually Put is him broken. Give the kidney. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Damn it. Damn it. 
damn it, it's not. <laughs> oh wait, dodge action. Van. You have disadvantage at attempting to grab her. Uh, no, my I, technically my AC is nineteen, so. <laughs> Fuck. You suck. <laughs> Now, so you try to grab her, but she spent a long time dodging a man with big burly hands. So you reach in for the hug with your eyes closed, and you open them, and she's gone, and she's behind you. I, I imagine it's a case of just, oh, he's going for a hug. Hop. Over the head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Between his armor and just Nasto's density, he wasn't able to tell that you actually dunked Does Nasto's armor come with a cloak on the back? No. Okay, never mind then. Cloaks kill you. Fair enough. No caps. No caps. No caps. No caps. No cloaks. Let's get the first one. Hoods are maybe. <laughs> <laughs> cloaks are fashionable. Bring cloaks back into fashion. So you all go for your rests. So if you want drink, you better believe that between slaves that had been freed, between the aristocracy of the city, who which have definitely all probably already met their end because nobody really could stop them by the time the slaves had already gotten out and gotten to them. So, whoops, no loss. There's plenty of fine wine, cheap ale, whatever you. And there's a lot of people who are drinking, eating, and celebrating free for the first time in probably their lives. <sighs> yep, I... I'm just going to go to my anime type box with forbiddens in it and <laughs> open the door, go inside. <laughs> I, so... really, I really hate to be the person to ask this, but I'm going to ask this. Is there anybody missing? Make an investigation check. After a time, because originally you just look about and you make a hair count, and you see that a few people aren't around, and you walk around and you eventually find damn near everyone. Damn celebrating near. in one form or another, drinking, enjoying themselves, amongst groups that you never thought that they would ever celebrate or enjoy time together. But they're all there. Um, does that include Arsehole's two companions? I forgot their oh, names, no, I'll we, be we honest. Be more specific. He the, 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 the dude. And off the ear. Which uh, we all is in the city, but Mugmug and Jonathan stay behind in New oh, right, okay, yeah, never mind. They stay behind. the planned permissions and requests. Fair enough, never mind, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, good, because it was a case of... Althea is in the city. Good. Yeah, Althea is here. Good. He's got a... He has one of those things where, you know, his face is stained with blood, and there's a small cut over his forehead, but it's one of those things of, you know, a small cut on the forehead makes it look a lot worse than it ever actually is? Yeah. The sexy kind one of, of those kind of One of those kind of stains on his face, and he's just there with... Funnily enough, he's actually there with the two young drow that you had accompanied in your time in the Underdark. Bow, wow, wow. Oh, yeah. Chatting amongst themselves and... Um, What's my father up to? He's pretty much just around with you, really. That's about, about it. Ready to, you. About ready to lead a new town? Well, I certainly won't say no to the opportunity to try and give people a new life. Wouldn't mind having somebody watching my back, though. Would you mind keeping us safe? Yeah. I've still got a show your granddaughter some parental care she's been like uh, 
But maybe after. She's, she's a good. <laughs> I think this entire city does need to be demolished, though. And the new city somewhere nearby to make sure this never oh. happens again. I'm sure amongst the magically inclined here, they're going to make sure that whatever lingered here is barred, locked, or safed away, or whatever they are. But it'll be your town and its descendants hmm. that patrol these lands. So what should we name it? <laughs> I didn't even hear Shut up! <laughs> I, again, I, like I said, no. I already fucked off and went to bed, went to sleep in the Shut fucking up. British town here. Please tell me you said that town. No, he said Towny McTown face. <laughs> well, it was this town, so now it become that town. What about <laughs> something stupid like hope? How hey, about Levana? Hey, well, since we're the Dawnbringers, we brought about a new dawn. New dawn. I like it. That's a good name. Somebody we'll say dawn. <laughs> Sorry, getting stuff together to cast it. What? You watch, it's like as you say that, it's already like night time and like. All the drow that are there are like, no, yeah. don't do it. I can't, I can't even cast it because I have no fifth level. <laughs> so, we free the slave civilization. Well, we stop the dragon from massacring a bunch of people and doing a bunch of mistakes. Yeah. We save the world <clears throat> from. Whatever the fuck that was. The return, we killed a fat man. Yeah, the return of uh, a demon god. <sighs> Anything else? Well, I mean, there, there's a whole well, other continent that kind of needs to be cleansed of undead, but I think that's a. Uh, that can wait. Now. Avenged my wife. Yeah, yeah, first. Very. Cleansed a town of its slave trade. Yeah, the ER said about that, yeah. Free the family member from certain doom and becoming a fat man. Oh. Got a bunch of cool shit. Really, when you think about it, a lot of cool shit. Made lunch. We're not bad, so we did shit. Ooh. Let's go to bed. Takes one. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone's worked up and up. Ah, get some rest. We'll, we'll, we'll think tomorrow. <laughs> More rest, please. I'm perfectly fine, and I'm done. You eat, you sleep, and the night passes to dawn. Fuck, I get all my spells back. We brought as the, the door. First, as the first new dawn comes across the horizon, <laughs> you look about. And there are many people who have either woken early or. It's weird. You either have groups of people who have awoken and seem eager and ready to do things, or people who are just asleep and they don't care. There's just a lot of exhausted, exhausted people amongst this group. But standing on either battlement of the actual entrance to the soon, resting, more or less resting their heads with their arms crossed about it, to one side you see Rata in her silver form. To the other, you see Galgaron. And his scales have a sheen to them that you've not seen in some time. Mm. 
the equivalent of say two people like leaning over a low wall resting their heads with their arms underneath but I... they're in their true forms I actually uh, go up <clears throat> the ground kind of shakes as they move with you stepping up to them they both look down towards you uh, forgive me for the interruption I promise I will not uh, pry on your time for long <laughs> but uh, uh oh I should have thought this through more um I want to say thank you to you both for uh, for everything. It is us who should be thanking you. And um, uh, I, <laughs> I promise you, I had good intentions for this, mainly because uh, I wanted to make sure that it's uh, got back safely. Um, I believe this is yours, and I hand over the old photo of a mother and a father and their son. You watch as they like shift down to human forms to offer out something, and they step up, they pick it up, and it's Pratak that holds it as they look. Yeah. And they both smile, and they're like they're leaning close over each other, looking at it. And they look up past you, and there is their son. They both seem like they're holding back tears, but kind of barely. Aeon Soul steps up. He puts a hand on your shoulder, pats it, and it steps towards his parents to have the first hug with them that he's had in 30 years. It's like They're two all weeks stupidly tall, by the way. Mm. <laughs> I am a short. <laughs> I'm gonna just quietly leave and let them have their moment. Because that's all I needed to do. You can hear the low muffled like sobs between them as you can just like move. Seems love truly did die, but it has been reworn. You all look about yourselves. As you do, Merak and Guan Chi are amongst the people as they begin waking. As you begin. So, whilst most people were sleeping, we were talking, and I couldn't have been more agreed to the opinion of my old friend that we wouldn't be here without you and that you all deserve a how Lyrico, how'd you put it a fucking break like that <laughs> he knows how to emphasize the word in just the way so if you so choose I know a little beach Probably 10 miles south of Duskhaven. I can send the supplies you would need and anything else, and you can just do what you damn well deserve and rest and come back to us whenever you like. And if anyone yeah, but... tries to contact you, tell me immediately and I'll go kick their ass because you deserve a nap. 
<laughs> we better not come back against a vengeful fucking pirate again. Yeah, the place better not dissolve into chaos while we're gone. Look, in fairness, you changed a lot in your short time with us. But we'll try. I'm sure if we actually do intend to follow through with the matron's request and attempt to perform the 11th circled power spell to restore the drown, then you might notice that if it happens, but that should be a long casting. Dom Ringers. Are you ready to go to the beach? No! <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Order recall. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I got a forge I gotta go to. I ain't gonna give a fuck about a goddamn vacation. I got shit to do! I'm only 10 miles from Duskhaven. You are only 10 miles from Duskhaven. You can make your way back at your leisure. As you go, no, it you. All of you are teleported. You blink, you can already, like, feel that you're the ground underneath you moving as you can see the sun rising now with just the horizon before you it is lovely is it warm it's still that morning slight chill to it but ah it's fuck it quickly. i go you go for a swim yeah why not in your armor? full armor <laughs> no fully naked sink Things and he doesn't come back. <laughs> well, you know how like people run and they throw their gear off as they run towards it. Uh, it takes Nazar like he has to run back and forward a few times to get all the plate off. <laughs> ten fuck, mi fuck, ten fuck, minutes. Fuck, help me! Stuck. <laughs> as you're all looking about, and Nazar frantically gets off his gear, and there is after. A few minutes, a small apparition appears next to you of plenty of beach towels, like four picnic mats, and a coin for each of you with the symbol of a dragon on it, made of gold and silver. Didn't last time we accepted a coin from someone, it fucking kept us on a GPS tracker. It wasn't a coin, it was a necklace, but yeah, it did. Where's the gotcha X machine? To doubt. <laughs> 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 or, I, oh, I guess actually, if it is a coin, it probably... Guess a a coin in this... I guess it'd be this size. It's about that size, yeah. Jesus, that's not, Fuck, that's not a coin. Fuck, the undead that motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. For me, it's like this. Oh, fuck it, no. Yeah, that's not a coin, that's a damn medallion. <laughs> yeah. That's about that size. It doesn't have a hole in it yet, but you've seen that it, it seems more like it just got ready made. It's like, oh yeah, throw those in too. And the I come in. running back, guys, the water's still cold. Oh <laughs> god, take a towel, Jesus. <laughs> you can tell it's cold. <laughs> oh, really? I thought it was always that small. Hey! Respect the inches. <laughs> so chill amongst yourselves. Enjoy your time on the sand. The sand is incredibly soft underneath you, and it's one of the it's kind of thing of like easy to move your hands through it. It's almost like rice in that way. You know, you can very easily move your hand through it and just like paw it up, and it just like falls away. It's just like that powder almost. Mm, yeah. Now, question is, do I take 10 minutes to cast control weather for 8 hours? <laughs> I don't think you need to. <laughs> well, just to warm it up a bit, you know? <laughs> it's starting to warm. It's yeah. starting to warm. It's just as you literally got there at the crack of dawn, and it was... You have that feeling of it's going to be a hot day. And after the morning is passed already, it's definitely warm. Uh, I'll speak to Dell alone. Okay. Mwah. So, Grant's gonna just fall asleep in the sand. <laughs> Face first. Well, now. Oh, the ends of the You're gonna... You're gonna spend time with your family, and I look over the... 
big ass woman? I think so. Any idea where, when, how? Well, there was talk of this new town that's being set uh, up. We actually want to go back there. Dunno. <coughs> it's not being made there, but nearby, I guess. It's that or I, I guess go back to Duskhaven, but... Well, you're always gonna have a home there, but for a different... Yeah. I guess technically I do have a job, but I'm sure I'm permitted some form of leave, is the best way I could refer to it. I think you can retire by now, let's face it. I think we all can. <laughs> I'll probably have to talk... And I don't just mean financially. I'll probably have to talk with him about that. If I'm honest, Nosto, I don't think I'd know what to do if I retired. Um... I have, I have many years left of, ahead of me. I would be bored within the first hundred. Try maybe getting attached to someone, or finding someone that you're already attached to, for that matter. <laughs> she sort of looks out at the beach with everyone. She's like, well, I've made a good start on that at least. Hmm. You'll be the, uh... By far the longest living person here. Yeah. I reckon making plans could do you some good. I've only got about a hundred years. And that's as long as I can keep you up, all of these guys. You say you've no. I'm slowly to... dying inside. <laughs> you say you've got a hundred years but out of all of us here. You're, pr you're probably got the second second longest after me. Hey, in comparison to you, I've I'm pretty much done. Yeah wise. Hmm. But well, uh, well, if you want it, I'll keep you company at least. And if not, I'll probably be in Duskhaven. Although saying that, I've barely only started my adventuring years, if you will. <laughs> I've been on my ass all, all these years doing my craft, so I might go out there. Might help some people. <laughs> See what goes on. I don't think I'm ready to sit down just yet. I'm sure there's always people that need helping somewhere. And sure, like the you still need level help. fighter had a lot of problems, and a lot of problems will be solved. <laughs> also, I still need to catch that fucker that took the boat. I'm sure we could do something about that. Uh, we have friends in two of the major ports on this coast. Uh, revenge is not the right way to go. That much I've learned. I'll need to make my own one, but I'll probably get it commissioned. I have another family, you know. They're still out there. I ran away. I mean... I ran away. Do you want to go back to them? I feel like I should, but I don't know if I can. Why not? I know people call us heroes, Nosdo, but... I We're not. I feel ashamed still. We just... We were at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Everything kind of fell into place. Yeah. I was never the daughter they wanted. Nah, it's... It's not about people what, what people want from you, it's about who you become. And, well... Even though maybe your start wasn't the greatest... <laughs> you ended up in a pretty decent place amongst pretty decent people. I did. Now it's a case of where you're going to take it from now, but... I think I need some time got... before I'm ready for that. You've got options. Yeah. I don't think there's time to rush. Like you said, in a way I've got another family. Also don't mind Buckley, he's just with a stick trying to figure out plans for the next forge. <laughs> what about you? You're in charge of Buckley. I'm not anyone's minder, I've said this before. And what about you? For a family? Nah, probably not. Never been your thing? Probably a bit too late. 
Like, there isn't a woman, like, a female dwarf out there who wouldn't try to get that ass. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they're, I'm the right type of person to have kids or family. Maybe. Maybe not. The whole thing kind of got interrupted. I understand that. It's... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to sit down ever again, and when I eventually do, I'll probably be too old. Maybe I'll get attached to someone, maybe I'll stay with them. But, as you know, dwarves have some limitations, so... <laughs> many I don't years, know. There's still many years ahead of us. We'll see what happens. For now... But no, I don't know. Well, I suppose you could say there's one loads of things that aren't very clear in this life. Maybe you'll marry, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have kids, maybe you won't. But I suppose there is at least one thing that I can be sure of. I need to wear sunscreen. Yeah. You also need to tan a little bit. But I will burn. I don't care if it takes me a hundred years. I will put some colour on you. And I don't mean on your skin. I mean on your clothes. You are banned from wearing so much black. I think I'm fed up with wearing black now. No. Oh, well, that was easy. Check. <laughs> you want to know something? Go on. Green is my favourite colour. Oh. 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 What type of green? Are we talking like dark green? Forest green. Well, it'll be a pleasant change. Uh, Des, is there, there yeah. grass, uh, <laughs> near, near, uh, near our area? <laughs> uh, further up the ledge, maybe. Um, but... There's like the dried kind of grass, you know, like uh, doom beach grass. grass. Yeah. Yeah, doom yeah. grass. That's fine. It's still a raw material. <laughs> Abricate! <laughs> How much are you grabbing? And what are you fucking doing with it? I'm fabricating a nice sundress. That is a nice. Dark forest green. From leaves, from grass. From grass. Uh, you know, it's nice and modest. Nothing too major. Um, you know, no nice leaves. little skirt. Well, yeah, it's gonna look like it's made of leaves. No, However, I mean, you no know, sleeves. it's actually gonna be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a beach dress, it's too hot for sleeves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think his sleeves are mostly for Dell. Yeah, you don't want to contain this. <laughs> yeah. oh, I think it's sucked down. <laughs> <Yeah>. Negative strength. <laughs> but yeah, there yeah, it goes. Basically, a, a nice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, just a nice, you know, sundress of uh, a forest green made from plant fiber. Oh, so sweet. So. I mean, no. I, don't, I don't think I have anything. Actually, There's I have only anything. one thing that I want your help with. Yeah? Um. Yeah. I can hit things. I've noticed. Very hard. And I can't do much else. That asshole's gonna need finding. Mm hmm. I'm gonna need some help with it, probably. I, I'm not gonna do it now. I'm sure he'll be okay. But. That's probably next thing on my list. I'll help you. I don't know where he is, but I feel like we've got connections now. Hard. We can find him. Yeah, I need to slap him. <laughs> he got the one kill he never could, and I'm gonna laugh in his face for it. <laughs> He'll be around. Somewhere. So if you do ever find him, you will be literally wearing primordial elemental 
monster hunter level gear <laughs> like cloak made of a fucking fire salamander that like is almost like washing lava down his if I get desperate I'm gonna start molesting his bow maybe he'll come back that way no don't do that that's an artifact so it's an elven artifact and I'm an elf <laughs> I just give him a little poke in the forehead. Just ah, <sighs> right. I'm gonna drink myself insane. Have fun. Back uh, naked. I figure that's oh, at this point. I I would walk up with the the dress. <laughs> Because, yep. you know, with Buckley having a 24 in fucking perception, he could probably gotta go, oh, that's an interesting thing. Give me! I'm bored! <laughs> I, oh, I hate this hand! I, I don't like glass, damn it! <laughs> I like metal! Definitely, definitely doesn't get, like, teary-eyed or just like, oh, that's so nice! Definitely doesn't, no, make a deception check. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, I got reliable talent in deception! He's got a high insight. Come on. Shit, it's not. It's a seventeen. A it's a seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, there's that moment of as you like offer it out to her, where she like stops for a second, and for anyone else, it would look like you know she's almost like indignant to it. But you can just tell like there's just a very small like around her face, it's just like those slight like, cracks in that personality of just like you know like the Ron Swanson thing where you saw like the little mini Swanson, and I was like, it's not. <laughs> well, you know, he's keeping a certain face, but the moment when he opens his mouth, he realizes there's a crack in his voice. That's that, but it's so nice. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it. Huh. Figured it's a bit too hot out here for, for black, so. Definitely. And sleeves. <laughs> the ultimate bro TP is Buckley Dell. <laughs> And the other reason I, I figured I'd be fine to make a dress is because I have leather working tools. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Dress doesn't count as leather, but uh, you know what? You're a fucking level 15 forged domain cleric. You can basically make anything. <laughs> it's minor. It's it's made of a fine metal fiber. <laughs> it's like fiberglass. There you go. Bing. Oof, no. <laughs> oh. Guess it's I'll. Highly, highly indestructible. <laughs> I guess I'll do he something. He steps over behind a bush, comes back out. <laughs> I gotta do something that I probably haven't done for several years, okay. which is sit in the sun for a bit. And it is literally a bit, because after a moment she's like, oh god, I am actually burning. Ah, <laughs> daylight. I'm gonna cast protection from energy on her. <laughs> Resist elements. <laughs> oh, hey, I actually do have that, uh, prepared. <laughs> I will say that will count as sunscreen. <laughs> Sunscreen! Boom. Wear sunscreen. <laughs> Please wear sunscreen. Link, Link's a sunscreen song. You all just sit out there. There's now like two mounds at the side of like Grunt's face where she just went face down where she's just been inhaling and just like breathing out and just sand is just parted up at the side <laughs> like now a little crevice where her mouth is just it's a random beach cat. Oh, guys, I got a catfish! No, not so that's a cat. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Yeet it back in the ocean. I just stand there, knee deep, fully naked, standing uh, towards the sea with my arms crossed. Legs spread. Good life. Make a perception check. I was about to say, I was wondering if there was going to be a case of, like, you know, how we had to pay that one creature in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Not so. just... ah. as, you, as you are <laughs> making this check and looking out into the ocean, you look down close to you, and you can just see there's, like, one of those kind of, like, I'm not sure if it's like what would be the best kind of thing just like a large kind of fish thing and you realize you've got essentially the equivalent of bait dangling between your legs 
and the fish is just like turning its head up to you. I am taking challenge. <laughs> oh no! This is gonna be the sound what? of battle noises coming from the ocean, and we're all gonna be if like, "It goes what? for me. I'm a catch it." <laughs> Nazo makes an athletics check to grapple. Dick fishing. I am not cooking that. <laughs> I am not eating that. Uh, attack? Athletics. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, God. Well, the thing is, it was both the same modifier. Are... Yes, yeah, same modifier. So I said that you. Basically, you grab the fish, but you also pull it away because it wriggled in your hands and. You almost didn't have to worry about not having kids. <laughs> no one touches my first kid but me. Oh god. Chuck him behind my head. Just lands on, lands back up. Paul! <laughs> what? Atlas just had to fish. You. Yeah, Buckley, a, la a fish just like lands like about 10 foot from you, just flapping in the sand. Uh... <laughs> I grab it, throw it. <laughs> <laughs> this very, very just unhappy fish, like <laughs> not so. You fling it back over your head, and after like a minute or like a, like two or three minutes later, you see the fish back into the ocean at breakneck speed. Back. It skims like a rock. <laughs> just like, why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> you get the sense now, so that no other fish is willing to try. Good. Let my bits dangle. <laughs> you indignant bastard. I deserve this. <laughs> I nearly died. I can dangle my bits. Yosh. Since Nemo kind of like DC, and I imagine Grunt will be next to him doing the exact same. <laughs> but naked. Just differences her ass is at his head level. Right. Yeah. So you two who are here and Shim, or sorry, you three that are there are looking to the right, away from them, as they're all on the left. <laughs> You have those, like, you know the kind of things for, like, stopping the wind at a beach? Like, the little, um, the, like, the small little fencing thing that you put up with the cloth across it? I'm forgetting what they're actually called, but you know what I mean by them. I think so, yeah. And you just kind of set them, you set them up in the way so that you don't see those two. <laughs> you just block them from your peripheral. Windbreakers, though, yeah. We just fucking fucking try to relax. Not very experienced at it, but she tries. <laughs> it's difficult, but you lie yourself down. You just let the sand like kind of like rest or mold around your back and everything, and just nobody's coming for you. Nobody's. We know of. <laughs> yeah. And for the full day, easily the full day, you all are at. Just the casual sounds, the waves crashing in and receding. And the tide goes higher as it goes later. And you can just feel that the sun is setting behind. The water has gone up a bit, and Nazdo, your danglies are no longer dangling. Because it's gone up to that level, because it's a wide, long beach. You're Natural about, wash. You're up to about um, naval levels of under the water. Grants up to her shins. <laughs> I ain't telling you to do not guys, this is your day. It almost feels like an ending. Kinda. Don't know what to do. 
I mean, I'm fucking designing shit. He's got a pen and paper out, and he's gonna keep going until he runs out of light. Yeah. Don't have to do anything. So. Maybe. I'm actually trying to figure out what I want to build. Save my time off. Which, depending on what you heroes decide, could very well be the rest of your lives. Uh. Don't know. I mean, do we. Yeah. Me Del and Nosto kind of discussed what they were going to do. Apart, apart from days, Nosto's going to get back into it, whatever it will be. Well, uh, I guess, I guess, go back to Duskhaven and uh, start trying to find information for the guy you're looking for. After like, after, after like a, after like two weeks holiday. Yeah. After the person who stole Nasu's ship, is it? No. We're gonna start with rescuing dipshit from another world. I don't think he needs rescuing. Not rescuing, but bringing back. He might have his hands full. He's off doing God's work. Well, I don't know. I feel like he's from from what we were told. I feel like he's unintentionally somewhere else. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I suppose we'll find out from his guard whether or not they still got contact. That's true. If he needs help, we have the bow. The bow could probably tell us. The bow said it didn't know. The bow said it lost. Um... It lost, it lost contact with him, but I think the bow is still connected to his god. Oh, right. Um, can you so, do that? I don't really... I mean, I, I guess he's naturally more inclined to speak to me. What? But I'm a dwarf, come on. Well, yes, yeah. <laughs> do you ask the bow? I suppose so, yeah. You suppose so? Hey. <laughs> As you're talking... And you begin, you pull out the bow, you begin asking questions. And it explains that it lost its connection with him after the portal closed, several minutes after it closed. And he, he was more like just the receiver for contact with Corellin in that he could be contacted, but he himself cannot contact. Right. And through him, he could allow Corellin to speak with Alistair. But he feels no further contact with him, is what you discern from your time. Right. I think that might be a bit of a dead end, then. Unless we just sit and wait for them to message us instead. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to wait for him. Like I said, I I've only got 100 years and he's got less. I don't want to dissuade you, but I wouldn't know where to start. If you have other unfinished business to do, maybe do that first. It might be quicker. You guys are my unfinished business. Well, I'm probably not going anywhere for a while. I mean, if it's a god you're trying to contact, you know, kind of here. Give me about an hour and I can get a temple. Can you get in contact with him and find out whether or not he's accessible in any way and doesn't need help? If we wait till we get it before. I, assuming that this discussion is happening sort of when we finished our holiday. Yeah, sitting there on the yeah. beach still. When we go back, kind of like, when we go back to civilization, I'm sure there's plenty of temples. Well, no, I can, I can around. build a temple here right now. <laughs> In the middle of a beach. Like I said, give me an hour. Don't desecrate this holy place. I feel like I feel like Corellan themselves would prefer we use one of their pre-existing ones. It's a certain modicum of respect, you know? 
Well, I can dedicate the actual thing to whoever. It's more just to give me a better connection, really. Goddamn gods shoving their temples when they're not wanted. <laughs> Plus, it's more... If we can, you know, spend one one night out of the, the, the view of the stars, if you want. A.K.A. this is Temple of the Gods, A.K.A. The, the cleric's version of the bard's, like, sleep away. Oh, the mansion. <laughs> yeah. It's literally what this is. One is straight up just the house from Playboy. The other one is the Vatican, just on wheels. Pretty much, yeah. The Pope Mobile? Pope Mobile! Yeah, it's, it's Pope Mobile. <laughs> Except it stays in one place. Is that Stationary Mobile? But yeah, basically that that's what it'd be. Um You can certainly try, it is the Vatican, not Vatican. Maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna be in Dusk Haven and I'm gonna slowly dig for information. But I don't know how much I can do. If someone can lead me to him, I'll try to help him, but until then I suppose if you guys aren't doing anything in particular, I'm gonna help whoever needs me, really. I guess all we can do is keep an ear to the ground for now. I'm... I'm not of Divine, neither am I of Arcane. And I never will be. You and me both. You're of the Divine a little bit. I guess not a... by choice. Yeah, I guess a little bit now. I wasn't when I started. So, I'm just gonna stay on the mortal plane and do what mortals do. But exist, <laughs> yeah, exist for another hundred or so years. Help does of need. I enjoy the rest of my life. Hopefully, make yours better. I feel like you deserve one. <laughs> it can only go up from here. <laughs> You guys make a slow meander back. Or Buckley, are you actually going to cast your creation? Uh, I'll, I'll wait until we get back to, to town okay. to just go and get contact. Okay. Guys, okay, make your way back. You take your time, so it takes you, you take two days to get there. You walk during the day, you rest during the night, you walk during the day, and you do enjoy the beaches as you go, because it is mostly coastal thing. Um, you pass by some small groups of, say, lizard men that had come out from what would have originally been the Dusk Haven swamp, that were, you know, close to the coast and make their way back in as essentially what looks like the equivalent of Hercules and Cove going to the beach for a day, just go, nope, fuck that, we leave. That is their equivalent of saying, that is a large bear, we are avoiding the bear. <laughs> you make your way back into the city. From the dark side. And in. And Duskhaven is more or less as you left it bit quieter. There isn't as many people here. Most haven't come back. But... What you do see is the drow are actually in the city. As you hear that Scylla, Merok, and the matron had come to the city along with the lord and lady of Duskhaven. <laughs> this is well time sound effect. <laughs> and it's at the end of the third day as you like are getting into the city. You can see at the very top of the Tower of Duskhaven, a lot of magic is swelling there. 
what looks like the efforts of a great spell. And as it's being performed, you can see that in the sky, the moon and the sun, just as it's beginning to get closer to night, eclipse over. And all the stars alight the sky. And the three are in one in that brief moment. Oh my god, man. <laughs> As this happens, you can just see on the tower itself the black fragments upon it fall away as if flakes being picked or dust being blown off of something by a breeze. And as the magic comes to its apex at the top, you can just see that it strikes the top of the tower and goes down. And throughout the tower, you can just see that the energy washes outward and then spreads out into the city. And as that happens, the sun no longer eclipses the moon. The stars do still linger in the sky. And whilst physically, the drow are not changed. <laughs> Jeez. The drow are cats now. Shush! <laughs> you know All the drow girl. are now in place with tabaxi. Shush, That's you're what noisy! They <laughs> noisy for no reason. As no. this happens, you look about yourselves, you look about the people because you eventually make your way close. You can see that Corellin's curse has been lifted. If not from the entire drow, at the very least this society of them. As those last few glints of the sun linger in the sky, the drow who, for many of their times above ground, had been wearing hoods or masks, lift them down and watch the sun set on their last day as drow. If you wanted to, you could probably try to contact Merok or any of the others afterward. Considering you have questions of a magical nature. Do you want to go ask Nolstar? Yeah. Um. Yeah. See what he can say. See if yeah. he can say anything. You make your way. And the doors to the tower are removed, left to the sides. And the tower, with those flakes now gone, those souls that had once clung to it, and the work of the Lich who had long ago used this place as a form of power. Uh, oh, that makes so much more sense now. <laughs> and why it was a very slow cleansing. It is now pearl white. You make your way in. You make your sway up the winding staircases. It's no difficult. There is no illusion blocking your path. There is no trickery. There is no maze. You make your way up. You make your way to the top of the tower. And there standing is Galgarant Ratak Ayansol Merak Silla Guanchi and the Matron who just worked together to cast the 13th level spell <sighs> which by the way they all look fucking exhausted implying that they probably took one night's rest 
And the entire three days you've been moving about, they have been doing nothing but test. Because that's the kind of thing that that kind of spell requires. Yeah. <laughs> Having some level of demigod amongst you who can normally cast 10th level spells tends to help. Great. So they are tired as you make your way up and look about. Aeon doesn't seem to have performed the spell, but was there as a sister. Snack oh. giver. <laughs> Piping the brow like sponge, scalpel, magic wand. <laughs> Pringles. <laughs> Definitely need those. <coughs> so, you're already back from your break. It went quick. Yeah, we're not getting back into it just yet, but um, there's some stuff I want to try to know, and you guys are better to ask, because I have a bunch of armor. I don't do magic. I don't do divine. Um, are there... Context. Oh, I can't say that. The half elf is gone into another world, or I don't know. Apparently, he went through a portal and call them planes. his bow says he lost touch with him, if you will. So, I want to know how is he? I want to know if I can get him back in any way, shape, or form, because I imagine it's not something he wanted to do, unless he was told to, but I highly doubt it. And I imagine we could use him on this plane more than on that one. I want him back. As you say this out, Galgrond, holding his staff, lifts himself back up. I have materials downstairs. Come in. And he walks down, and the rest of you can follow. As you watch as he moves <clears throat> into his previously his office. And you see he goes through a um, display case, and he takes out several pieces of incense and four strips of ivory and places them out into a ritual and prepares to cast the spell legend Ooh. he focuses and as he does after a brief time. With a lot of it, he has a smile. Up until the end. When the spell ends, I'm sorry. I must sit down. No. No. I no. kind of refuse to believe that. No, 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 no. He has ceased to be. No, no, no. That's that's not how it goes. <laughs> where? Even if he's not here anymore, where was he last? If I can't have him, I'll have his remains. The ninth level of hell. He started in the seventh, and worked his way down. In his final moment, you were all on his thoughts. But 
but after his life ends, I do not know. I don't know if I fancy a trip to hell or not. I know I can't get there on my own. Well, I suggest we get back then. Watch as he goes back to the um, compartment that he had. And he takes out uh, a beautiful silver mirror that has this like it's almost like diamond is used as its like reflective surface in it because performing a scry his body is not in the hell it was plucked away by Corona I suppose that's something But I do not think you want me to go into much description on what I see, aside from a very brave warrior and a good man, better man than I. Well, so much for that plan. When? When did it happen? The same day Alexandra died. The siege of the stone. He went into a portal more pulled through by a very dangerous type of demon. A kind that, sincerely, we can all be glad is not here. And he slew it and took its blade and cut through many. But I don't think your success in this doom would have been even possible if he did not hold the line. With your permission, as his closest friends, I will have a statue erected of him. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's made of the finest, the finest hunted predators out there in the wild. Sculpted from dragon bone, perhaps. That's a start. His last thoughts were on all of you. And he looks particularly towards you, Delmara. But in this matter, I find myself lacking. Answers one question. If I can ever get his body back from Corellan, it 
by some divine measure, I can barter. I will. Don't need this body. He did it to himself. It's what not that I blame him for it. It is how he would have wanted to go. Beating the shit out of some horrible down in the hills. Yeah. And to the joy of many, I'm sure there were a great many entities there that had vile malinations for the world, but dying in the hells for them is a permanent fixture, so he has denied a great deal of them any hope of success in the future. The name Dartwood will be sang of. I'll, um, I'll let the others know. Yep. Make your way back to your guild hall. I'll have the finest spirits sent. And I'm sure there will be others who will wish to accompany you for the time. If I may. A lesson I never let myself learn. But I should have a long time ago. Is that you must appreciate what you still have. And the most powerful thing you all have. Whether you considered him a snarky bastard. Or the most competent of you all. You all loved him. And he loved you all. In his own little weird way. <laughs> Let's go. You all make your way out and you leave. As he also steps out. I don't think I'll be coming back. No. I need... Let us call it soul searching. You should stay with your family. They need you. No. She is stronger than ever imagine. And he outshines us both. I don't need them. I need them. They don't need me. I've learned and hurt them. You're welcome to come back. I might take your words up. There I was thinking that I would end up stopping the end of the world. That I would be some hero. <laughs> The fate of the future is always in the hands of mortals. Always. <laughs> Good luck, dumb bringers. He just walks away. God, I hate that name. <sighs> Suck it up, lad. Because that shit's in the history books now. 
Don't call me lad. I know, it felt very weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm older than you! I'm not, I honestly am thinking like, do I do a divine intervention? Because I know I have it. It would be one hell of a way to Motherfucker. end. Just fucking... Corolla, do give me my friend back! <laughs> Starts a war in the heavens over Dartwood. <laughs> Who finds us a day in a tavern? The custody battle. Sure. I mean, Buckley, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, gonna roll it, roll it in roll 20. If you're gonna roll it, roll it in roll 20. I can't see it. I can't see those numbers. I can't see Hold on. It. I'm not gonna move them. Oh, God damn it. 80. I see an 80 there. Yeah. No, that's a zero. That's a double zero. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that, that is a double zero. Double zero and something. Hang on. A bit more, bit more, bit more. That's a... That's... One? That's seven. a seven. Or oh, seven. We're all a seven. So, seventy. No. No, it's a seven. No, that's a seven. It's a seven. Double zero and a seven. Seventy. No. no, you roll one. One is the ten, and one is the second digit. Yeah. You rolled a seven. <laughs> Why is it that I, I always just I I do things? <laughs> Your god, like, just oh, like I'm fuck done. Fuck my campaign plans. Although his body's already been received by a guard, but his soul has been lost. Don't you bring a zombie back? Well, no. I don't think his soul's been lost. No, yeah, his soul hasn't been taken. His soul is still around. Is it if dying one of the nine hells? Isn't doesn't it get possessed by well not possessed by uh, reaped by a demon? You there, Alistair? You're crying, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> I, have you guys... I have never seen a cleric with a... What is it? 80% success, success rate. rate. Success rate on my fucking on a, divine, on a divine intervention. intervention? <laughs> Alistair. I don't like clerics. <laughs> You fell through the portal to the hells. You fought your way through devils and demons down to the ninth level where you finally met your end. And you felt Corellin reach down and pick you back up. And they held you. And they tended to your broken body. And it is a peaceful time where you're not truly Alistair, but you're made almost anew from what is left until in your senses peripheral, you can just feel another set of hands reach out and touch you. And what was remade with wood has now hardened and turned to this almost, almost to the color of tanned flesh, but a gold, and sometimes a little bit of bronze or copper to yourself. And you feel your body and your soul re-knitted. And where you would have come the hand of Corellin and an entirely different entity, you feel your memories slip back to you. This one goes back a lot. These ones deserve the happy end. You feel yourself 
the stars weave overhead and a great nearly calamitous amount of magic soars throughout Duskhaven. You find yourself in the place where your quest began quite a long time ago in what would have been the throne room of the of Galgarond. You see the weary old soul to the other side of the room. As you appear, you feel the hands as if they were giants lifting you and sliding you down. You find your feet again and you look about at Buckley. Who then tackles you. <laughs> at Grunt. I'm back! I got him! <laughs> also grabs you to all your friends who are about you. Your family. Alistair Dartwood. You ain't dead yet, bitch! Really? 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 This was this easy? You don't call bullshit, but I totally planned that. Just saying. Is that I'm gonna go back and tell them the castle of the bone statue. He knew that I would probably do that. <laughs> is that why he you're... knew that, that I would go, you know what, no, I can't have one of the best people in terms of, like, just Buckley having met Nah, can't have that. Planned this for weeks. Mm. We have literally planned this for weeks, me and Dad. Yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't at all. No, no, not in the coming oh, months. Oh, you, you, do. Do. <laughs> uh, you, you sad souls, you know that no plan ever works in D&D. &D. No plan you... survives. Ah! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you no. should know that no this plan ever works. Alistair, Alistair, this is perfect. It's a plan that you made that they ignored. <laughs> Follow your plan. <laughs> <laughs> I did give you a good send off though. Great yeah. to me. As soon as I finished work, I downloaded Twitch on my phone. I was like, gotta, 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 gotta jump in. I gotta listen to my eulogy. What's going on? Not many people get to imagine, listen to this. It's a map him in the actual <laughs> fucking like coffin with the phone out. Selfie! Put it on Instagram. <laughs> You are so not was... having that bow back. <laughs> the bow is actually over Dell's shoulder, Alistair. You last left it on a pile of about 60 demons, which oh, you yeah. kept accounting your head of was about 62. But by the time you got to the ninth level, you were on 183. I don't believe it. Memory's all messed up. You got revived. <laughs> <laughs> so what I miss? Oh, not much. Just, it... We did a murder. Is it quite a story? Probably not as good as yours. Maybe. This is a pretty good one, I think. You can also see on his form, his back, he's got a cloak that is almost like washing, like constantly like moving lava, which grants him immunity to fire because it is the back of a primordial salamander. And he's got a suit of armor made from the bones of a great stag. Of one of the great stag, like one of the great beasts of the world, and it's more or less like um, what would be the best equivalent? If anyone ever watched Jack Three and saw like the armor Jack had of like this kind of bone aesthetic over a really solid leathery plate, kind of that kind of stuff. You know, basically, he only brought you back because he wants his shield, right? <laughs> he only brought me back because he wants his boots. <laughs> Pretty well, sure out of everything, he wants <laughs> this bow. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might drop that. Just a little bit. It's a nice bow. It is. It suits me better. It always has. <laughs> Not going through this again. <laughs> I'm telling you now he enjoyed his time with me. <laughs> so did I. And uh, that's where I That's where I went. Who would, have it, who would have thought this would end with me giving something back? Who would have thought this would end with Buckley giving something back? <laughs> Me? By the way, Buckley, <laughs> Carlin fucking hates you. Well. <laughs> Carlin hates you, man. It's like, oh, it's fine. Fuck it, I don't care. It's like if you made a perfect sandwich and just, like, murder walked up. My sandwich. Yeet. I'll, I'll, I'll make a 
an effort to not only pray to Muradin, but to Crown as well. You better things. get on your fucking knees for that one. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll take the, the holiest of loads. Anyway. I reckon this is, as, this is as good as an end campaign, or at least a portion of it as we could have fucking hoped for. Hey, I thought of a name for the guild hall. The Hunter's huh? Rest. <laughs> Both of you also, to assume there's gonna be any rest. <laughs> Yeah. Also, the main reason I, I brought you back is because he wouldn't stop complaining. <laughs> when he, not, so. he really wouldn't shut up. Right? Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> I, I, Tell I, him! <laughs> I offer the bow back. I snatch it! <laughs> it take... just lifts it up. <laughs> take five Fuck! points of dwarf damage. <laughs> I I you, say, you will take psychic damage if you grab that bow. <laughs> Nah, I feel like this needs to go back to uh, its shrine in the forest. So I think that's going to be my first port call. How very noble of you. Well, I didn't think I'd be the one that gets to do it. So I'm, I'm taking that privilege. Then take it. Does everyone think I'm dead? Yes. Got yeah, I kind of told them make like a big sub story. They're going to think I'm a right dick. That's you just see Galgarond, who is still in the room, by the way, look and go, Okay, the statue's not getting made now. Wait, Thank statue? You. <laughs> I was getting a statue. You were getting a dragon bone statue. Ah, oh, you couldn't have waited until you got outside, Buckley. I I'll hit fucking for a week. build you one. Calm it down. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's like principle. Instead, I think it's far more appropriate that a statue is made of all the Dawnbringers. Rather than just their head as well. Hey, we could get our own painting. <laughs> that implies you can get Nazdo to stand still for 10 hours. That's not how. Uh, I can pass out for that long. <laughs> you have to stand up for it. Not necessarily. Put me on a coat hanger or something. <laughs> Grunt so, can hold me for that long. Let me tell you way, about Grant... my story. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that. Besides, I still have a couple of things to give you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just did the code like. Kid, it's gonna be kid, so, kid. it's gonna be so cliche, but I don't care. Come here. Ow. That's for leaving. You knew I was leaving. It had its own episode. <laughs> and this is for coming back. Aww. Roll credit. <laughs> and banned on Twitch. <laughs> As you guys have your soft little embrace, you make your way back to Hunter's Rest. Yes. At the end of the path. Is it actually finished? Yes, actually <laughs> it is. I will say that's probably a good place to end. Session and campaign. That was all you fuckers. No, it was all Buckley. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Buckley. Buckley. No, it was just Buckley. Don't, don't, How many times did I have a plot hole and Buckley just went, no? Don't undersell yourself, man. That was amazing. Yeah, no, that was great. Who would win? One dramatically well thought out campaign over five years, or one Hundy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what is it? Literally, like that's got to be literally about an eighty percent success rate. He has. Oh yeah, he I, does. I lost yeah. count. I've lost count. You've. I think you've maybe rolled five times and have succeeded four. You succeeded on getting the sword. You succeeded on shattering. The arena, and you succeeded on bringing um, Alistair back. Those are the three I can think. Of. I don't I know. If is, a yeah, I feel like there's a fourth one, isn't there? I feel like there's a fourth one, but I can't. I can't quite remember what, what it is. It is I like how you rolled so many successful divine intervention. One of them was on the mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of them's been forgotten. I like wow. how you rolled a seven. My lucky number. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I you did let him know in the chat, I was like, hey, heads up, 
he's literally rolling divine intervention. Yeah, I don't. I you, mean, you probably couldn't see her, uh, but Buckley actually used his butterfly dice that we bought him. Uh huh. <laughs> that we gave him for his birthday when he came over. Yep. <laughs> So they, no to no, ma no matter what you do, guys, it always comes full circle. Put a flower chain. <laughs> Funnily enough, we uh, call this the end of the, the end of the cycle, breaking of the chains. Mm. It was this episode's name? So. When I heard Buckley say he was going to roll divine intervention, I was like, you know what, Alistair, I'm I'm okay with saying Alistair died because I had to leave the campaign. But if this fucker rolls divine intervention, I will come back. Because <laughs> I feel like that's deserving. Alistair comes out. I live, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> well... All according to plan. <laughs> As I fell through the portal, I was like, Buckley's got this. And I waited, and he waited just a little bit too long, which I'll give him. <laughs> Good for suspense, good for morale, I like it, it's nice, don't do it again. <laughs> sequel, 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 What's sequel. it like being mangled? I mean, you know, you fought kobolds. I never died. <laughs> I get knocked down. I get, get up, up again. again. And again, knocked down. <laughs> get up again. Get knocked Knock down. down. Get up get again. again. Stop knocking me out. I'm gonna need to. I know. That was a nice story. Hey, Alistair, what's your move speed? Well, I think I'm faster than you, faster finally, than you little bitch. He's finally got faster than He's me. faster than you now. He's I've at got 35. 35. <gasps> I am at 45. I want to the oh, I just want to point out, I have 35, and I never use... <laughs> yeah. Hey, you never because know, guys. Might, about levels. There might be some DLC stories. We've done that before with other campaigns. Yeah, yeah the dark I forgot chronicles. about level 14 feet, and I just gave it myself today. <laughs> I think that definitely... Sorry, Spook. I know we wanted to... <laughs> Fucking narrowing. <laughs> you can always count on a cleric to give you a happy ending. So I know oh you've my. been hexing for weeks and weeks and weeks, but what if I just rolled this 100 and it just changed everything? Oh, look at that. It changed everything. <laughs> no more clerics I literally, I literally have a <laughs> script written for Deldir's monologue. Wow. I think I only got a small snippet of that, of that sort of briefly sort of saying, this is generally what it's going to be about. Yeah. Nope. Cool. And it was just like, nah, whack. <laughs> so, kind of like that's, when... That's uh, a nice monologue you got there, I'll let you finish, <laughs> but uh... Kind of like now. at the start of the session, I think we're just sat here and just sort of going, what happens now? Well, you got Saturdays free again. <laughs> it's been... I can finally about live up to my years. streaming career! <laughs> it's been about five years since you had a Saturday free. <laughs> and hopefully by a As Cora said in chat, right. from now on, bards and clerics are back. <laughs> Include monks and that. We're just making <laughs> no. our way through the list. We're running, was, eventually, people will only be able to play commoners. Fighters. Well, actually, then we'll be able to play the idea. Just fighters. Fighter. Just, just fighters. Just fighters. fighters. <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man, they do all that they can. Oh boy. <sighs> so what you're saying well, is, is sequel in March. Potentially. <laughs> Although then I will be dead. <laughs> because of time. <laughs> yeah, because you'll be back on mornings. Is what? That, is the hope. Um, what the hell are you on about? I meant Alistair will actually be dead. Because of eight yeah, years yeah, of yeah, I, yeah, I know. We've already discussed that. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought you meant I thought you meant you because you wouldn't have. Yeah, to I'm be... gonna be dead as soon as I get moved on to mornings, boss. <laughs> She's planning for it. <laughs> and on that bombshell, I'm gonna end the stream. Yeah. <gasps> Thanks for having Good me. Good night, back. everyone. This has been a privilege and a pleasure. And for one last time, ta-ta, my dears. I, I missed that fight. <laughs>